Hello everyone, we're at the World Electrolysis Congress in Dusseldorf, organized by World Hydrogen Leaders. I am Johan Wiebe from the Hydrogen Standard and with me here today is Mark van Dat at from Parker. Maybe you can introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm the Market Development Manager for Parker Hennifin uh, and uh, I'm working closely with customers on new developments for the filtration group uh, within Parker. Yep. Excellent, I, I couldn't have done that. So uh, thanks, no thanks for the assistance, much appreciated. So Parker, tell us a little bit about the business. What do you guys do? So Parker is a large corporate, uh, in, uh, uh, a large corporate uh, run out of Cleveland. So the headquarters is in Cleveland and for Europe in, uh, in, um, in uh, Itwa, in Switzerland. So, but it's a big co company where we are producing a lot of different components and solutions for different markets. And it could be from, uh, for the electrolyzer market where we are just talking about, it could be ceiling solutions, but it could be also uh, uh, the instrumentation fittings or manifolds and up to filtration solutions. Um, so there's a really wide variety of products what we can sell in this market space. So how's your experience so far been in the hydrogen space? Um, an interesting market, uh, a fast and uh, developing market. Uh, so what you develop today could be all tomorrow. Mm. Um, so in that perspective, it's uh, really a demanding uh, market. Um, also, uh, what I feel is that um, Efficiency is starting to get uh, really a play, um, especially the efficiency of the stack. What has been discussed during uh, the cu uh, last couple of days um, was, uh, was uh, eye-opener for me. But on the other side, also during my presentation here at uh, the Belt Electrolyzer Congress, uh, I explained a little bit more about the efficiency of the balance of plant around the stack. Okay. Because I think we can win there uh, a big part of the business as well. Yeah. Reducing cost, increasing uh, efficiency, obviously two major building blocks of the development of the industry. Um, you did a presentation about it, you mentioned already. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. What, what was your key sort of message? What was the focus of the talk? What, would, what do you want our viewers to take away? So basically the, uh, uh, the takeaway there is that um, uh, we can do uh, all the filtration up front of the stack. So that means the, uh, the filtration of the water uh, and it could be tap water, uh, sea water or uh, brackish water up to the demoralis uh, demoralization of the water. And after the stack, uh, we could potentially do the cast water separation up to the uh, clean 5.0 hydrogen. So with the oxo units and the dryers. So, and besides that, we have also cooling solutions and uh, where we can uh, really influence the efficiency of, uh, of, the, of all these uh, different processes. Um, and that brings at the end uh, 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 an increase on the efficiency. Mm. So the other side of the, uh, the discussion or the presentation was that uh, um, we see also, especially on the alkaline, that uh, there are some impurities uh, mm. coming out of the stack. Mm. And when it's coming back to the uh, electrolyzer, uh, it will, down, it will um, uh, degrade the um, uh, electrolyzer stack. Mm -hmm. And we have some filtration solutions for that to overcome that. So it's mm -hmm. protecting the stack mm -hmm. and uh, solutions to increase the efficiency of the balance of plant. So do you guys have sort of a preference of technology choice that you like to work with the, in terms of PAM, alkaline, AEM or um, any other yeah. derivatives? So at this moment, uh, we are basically working on the PEM and the alkaline side. Um, the other two technologies, um, uh, we start to engage with some of the companies, but we are not that far uh, uh, established uh, and knowledgeable about these uh, technologies. So but that's something we, uh, we start to investigate. What, what do you see as future prospects for, for you guys in the hydrogen industry? What makes you particularly excited uh, to look at? So. Basically, what we would like to establish with, uh, with our products and solutions is working closely with the uh, electrolyzer manufacturers and um, uh, to make them really efficient and to get the clean energy uh, of the clean, uh, clean hygiene out of it. Um, and then besides, because uh, the electrolyzer, uh, electrolyzer getting larger and larger, we see also that there is a trend that they are working together with EPC contractors and that we established that relationship as well. And um, uh, so working uh, on all the different electrolyzer stacks uh, to get them running for many years on a high efficient way. What about sort of uh, geographical focus? Uh, what do you guys operate in out of Europe? Maybe some of the other major markets around the world? Yeah, so basically we have, um, uh, we are a global company. That's one. So, and that's also, uh, I think, an advantage for us, uh, especially with uh, developing the product. So we 
the developments that we are making, um, we would like to have them dual certified so that we can use them here in Europe but also in the US. Um, uh, but we have teams working in the US, here in Europe and in China or in uh, Asia Pacific uh, that are working on the electrolyzer side. So um, uh, we are talking to each other because these uh, electrolyzer manufacturers are getting global as well. So due to that, uh, uh, we are forming a team around them uh, globally and, uh, and with the right certification, we, uh, we are right to go. Awesome. So, what, is, uh, what has been your experience of the uh, World Electrolysis Conference um, Congress, actually? Um, how have you experienced so far? It has been a great experience. So, um, I like to do the presentation. Uh, it took me a lot of... Uh, so, after the uh, presentation, I had a lot of people talking to us. Um, uh, secondly, the upset, uh, the, how this is uh, organized, it was really uh, uh, a good setup. And uh, due to that, we gained a lot of uh, interesting uh, context and uh, where we start to work with. So hopefully next time we will see each other again. Awesome. Uh, Mark from that, from Parker, thank you very much for your time. Thank you as well.